Hey, peace people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm coming at you today with a plant video. Now, this is an adorable nano plant. That's what I'm going to call it. Since it's very tiny, it is the Anubius Nana Petite. So, I low key love the Anubius Nana Petite. Uh, it also goes by a couple other names. It goes by Anubius Bateri Var Nana Petite, and sometimes referred to as Anubius Bateri Var Nana Bonsai. Uh, it is found in nature in areas of West Africa and will attach itself to rocks, driftwood, or any other thing that it can get its roots caught up on when it's spreading. Uh, it's going to have a small, dark leaf with a lighter underside. The plant itself is only going to get about two inches tall. The leaves will be about a quarter inch wide and only about two thirds of an inch long. So it's a very small leaf and small plant overall. In some rare cases, it will sprout a flower, but in aquariums, that's extremely rare for these to do that. As far as care goes, it's again, it's an Anubius. It's another easy one. It's gonna like a low to medium strength light, water anywhere from 68 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I've kept mine about 80 and they do great and a pH range of 6.5 to 7.5. So you're going to notice these are slightly stricter requirements than some other Anubias that have a much broader one. But it again is a slightly different version. They're an extremely slow growing plant. So if you're going to want to cover something like a big piece of driftwood or a large rock, you got a couple options. One, find a friend that has some and gives you a bunch. Two, get a couple, sporadically plant them, let it spread naturally. Or three, you're going to end up buying a bunch of this plant to plant all over it. Now, the one I have is about two years old now, and it's barely covering a husk of a coconut. So that'll tell you how slow it does actually grow. They can, of course, be propagated easily, just like other rhizome plants. Cut it at the base of the stem, have some rhizome there. People say three or four leaves for these to start propagating. And then it just does its own thing, and it'll grow more for you. And of course, it is a rhizome plant. So you're not going to want to bury it totally. Otherwise, you will suffocate it. So you're going to want to attach it to your rocks or your driftwoods or your weights with things like fishing line, glue, other implements that you could think of to use it to attach to it. You could also just find a crevice and stick it in there. And that would work as well and be more a natural thing you could do. They don't really require anything extra crazy for requirements. They don't require CO2. They don't require liquid fertilizer. Nothing of that nature. Not that those would hurt. And if you do notice that your leaves are getting a little yellow, you might want to think about using a liquid fur and possibly a liquid iron supplement. And I haven't used CO2, but I know some people have, and it's not going to harm the plant at all. Also, an interesting to note about this, it's one of the most popular species of Anubius. If you go online and do some market research, it's the most popular species that people want to own, especially aquascapers, because it has that dark, rich green color in its leaf. And it is very small, so you can stick it in places. And you wouldn't be able to stick a normal Anubius plant in or other plants because it's extremely small. So overall, I'm, it's, I love this plant. I mean, it's a wonderful, cute little plant. So I'm going to give the Nubius Nana Petite a 9.5 out of 10. I'm going to take a half a point off just because it is so slow growing and sometimes harder to find because it is so highly sought after. As always, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Anubius Nana Petite, if you've owned it, if you want to own it, if you think it's as cute as I think it is. Leave a like on the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>